morning guys um this is gonna be kind of unscripted this is not what I planned to have be for the video today I had something else planned with a similar title title wherever you're looking at this title down there I guess um, yeah, I'm actually filming this on Wednesday because tomorrow Thursday is the first day of school so I've been really busy this week getting stuff ready for the start of school so I really haven't had time to sit down and make something to put up this week. I had something, as I mentioned, planned. But this is unscripted and probably going to be unedited because I just don't have time this week. But I did want to just talk about something or some things that um, were affecting me or have been affecting me over the last week and I mean we all watch the news I hope or at least we're all aware of what's going on in the world in this country and I know I don't talk about this stuff a lot because you know why do people want to continuously hear about the bad stuff that's happening in the world I, I try to talk about uplifting things I try to share uplifting things Maybe I'll share an uplifting story. I have one that happened to me last weekend. Um, but I, I can't ignore this stuff, and I can't act like, we, we as a society can't act like it's nothing. Because it is something. It is something, and it's something that I, I just don't understand. Because 20 years ago, it's, this kind of stuff wasn't happening. Granted, I was five years old, so I wouldn't remember, but um, I, I don't recall such a culture of hate when I was growing up. I don't recall people hating things for trivial reasons, if that's the correct word to say. All this stuff that's just been happening has really made me think about what is it that what is it that we are called to do to overcome this stuff that's happening uh, so I'm not sure where my thoughts lie with this or where anyone else's thoughts lie in what's happening um, so I don't really want to open it up, um, just because, as I've said in the past, I know who watches these videos. So I want to be just cautious about certain things. I'm, I'm drawing a blank on what to say. This is what happens when I don't script my videos. I sit here and I have long periods of silence that cause people to click away. So. I guess what I'm trying to get at is, hmm, I don't know what I'm trying to get at at this point. Um, he, but you know, as you know, as somebody who follows the example of the one who I believe brought us here, the one who I believe created us, I feel called that we as a society, are to condemn these evil things that happen, because they are evil, you know. But we also have to remember that in every bit of suffering, in every evil thing that happens, there will be good that comes out of it. It might not be immediate, it might not be... Um, uh, what's another word? It might not be immediate, it might not be um, sudden. It, it might take time. It might take a lot of time. But we can't let this suffering and we can't let this evil direct our life. We can't let it control us, because if we let it control us, then it's just going to eat us away and it's going to bring us down to like a point where we can't even continue to go forward. 
And I want to remember that as I go into the school year because I want to have a good school year. I have a lot of um, hopefully good ideas for this year, uh, trying some new things, changing a few things up. So um, I'm, I'm excited to get started. Um, and I mean, I hope, if my students are watching, I hope you're ready too, because I'm, I'm very excited to get back and seeing all of you again. What are we called to do? What is our mission as a human race, as a society? Is it to sit there and do nothing and wait to die? Is it to um, take something historic even if we disagree it and say, that's evil, that's evil, I don't agree with that, it has to go away. And do everything that we can to make it go away, even though it will always be there in our history? Or do we follow the true example of what we're supposed to do? To live, at least in my opinion, to live to learn, to love, and to serve. I think that's what we're called to do. Do you agree?